All right, so we've made it. It is time to crown conference champions. It is time to see which of the four teams will go to the college football playoff. The best four teams in college football, not the most deserving, the best. And, you know, every year the committee has gotten it right. You know, every single year they've gotten it right. But this time, this time it proved to be a conundrum, I'm telling you. So, we have a lot of conference championships this week. We have 10 of them, and we also have some other games as well. Uh, but the pac 12 games do not matter whatsoever. I don't think there's going to be a ranked Pac-12 team in the top 25. However, Pac-12 has bit off a bit more than they could chew here. You know, they have put some plans in place thanks to Corona Chan, uh, like a lot of conferences have. So, the matchup is supposed to be Washington versus USC. USC, you know, not having trouble with COVID. Washington is having trouble with COVID, and they have until Thursday, the Huskies do, to get it all figured out. If, if, if not, then it will be Oregon representing the North. And if USC somehow happens to have some problems, it'll be Colorado representing the South. So, it, I, I don't know how it's going to work, but hey, that's Friday night. Also Friday night, Conference USA Championship game, Marshall UAB. And um, there's also, you know, the MAC Championship, undefeated Buffalo and Ball State. And again, there's all most some of these bowl games, the lower tier bowls have already been filled out completely. Like they have games and stuff, you know, set and the coaches are getting fired. Gus Malzahn got fired. Lovey Smith got fired somehow. Tom Herman is still in Texas. I don't know why. Art Bryles could come back. Hugh Freeze might be going somewhere. I mean, it's just crazy. Players are transferring. You know, McKenzie Bilton, he's at Florida State. Charlie Brewer, I don't know where in the world he's going. But, uh, man, crazy stuff. Crazy times right now in college football. As we move to Saturday, you know, it is going to be one hell of a day. Of course, there's college basketball on Saturday as well, so it's going to be a back and forth. And there's NFL also on that Saturday, so it's going to be a back and forth affair. Um, but first things first, Big 12 championship. Now, I, now Iowa State has a very small chance. I don't think they, they even deserve a chance, you know. The committee should be looking at the entire body of work and knowing that they have two losses. One of them was a blowout. Blowout to Louisiana. Blown out, basically. And you want to talk to me about, oh, well, Iowa State playoffs. That's not happening. You're, you can get a Big 12 championship, maybe go to the Cotton Bowl or something like that. But playoffs is out of the question. And... Oklahoma looking pretty damn good themselves. They have bounced back mightily from the loss earlier the season to Iowa State and Kansas State. Just, they are playing solid defense. Alex Grinch has them playing very, very well. And, I mean, Spencer Rattler is coming into his own. You know, Lincoln Riley has the team looking good, but it's too late too late now. You shouldn't have lost early in the season. Both these teams are out of playoff contention, basically. And, uh, yeah. Two lost teams are not going to cut it. Not, not, not any time soon. Not any time soon. I know we had an Auburn two-loss team that came close a couple years ago. But not any time soon. Definitely not this year. It, it's far too late for all that. So, Big 12 championship should be fun. Um, I don't know how it's going to go though, but it's going to be fun. I can guarantee you that. I can guarantee you that. Next up on the agenda, the Big Ten Championship, Ohio State Northwestern. Ohio State 
Now, people are saying, oh, well, Ohio State is in the playoff regardless of what happens. Blah, 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 blah. Not so fast. Not so fast. Ohio State has to beat Northwestern. They have to get another big win on the resume. They have to beat them bad, I'm thinking. They have to beat them up so badly, you know, because, I mean, Ohio State could be in a matchup with Alabama, and Alabama does not look like a team that's going to stop rolling. But Ohio State has to win this game. They have to get a resume booster in there somewhere. The Northwestern Peyton Ramsey is the perfect team to do that against. But Northwestern has a strong defense, very strong defense. They can run the ball. You know, Peyton Ramsey and company can do some things on offense. They can. They just haven't been able to, you know, sometimes. But they can do some things on offense. And if, and if Justin Fields, you know, can get the troops of the Buckeye Nation going, it might be a long day in Indianapolis at noon. But um, as far as contingency plans for the Big Ten years, I don't think there is any right now. Uh, so I think the Big Ten championship is just going to go on, and as it should. There's no reason to, you know, delay the city further. We're having the Big Ten championship. And, you know... Does Ohio State have enough there to get a playoff spot? Do they deserve a playoff spot? I don't think they deserve a playoff spot. But they have basically proven themselves as one of the best teams in the country, you know, right now. But, I mean, this is playing against trash Big Ten competition, and there was no non-conference game, so I can't really say anything, you know. Next up on the docket, you know, we have the Sun Belt Championship game. Undefeated Coastal Carolina and their and their spread option attack. Grayson McCall and company are gonna have fun, you know. It's Billy Napier and the Louisiana Raging Cajuns, who only have the loss to Coastal Carolina early in the season at a big non conference victory against Iowa State. Big time. Best win of the season, honestly, for any team in college football. That is the best win of the season. And both these teams are looking very, very interesting. Very, very fun game. It's going to be, I can guarantee you that a top 20 matchup, you know, is guaranteed for this game. And it's just going to be something. It is going to be all over the place, let me tell you. Excuse me. And, um, you know, for Coastal, I think they have to get the offense rolling quickly. The defense has to play like it has, you know, against BYU. Not the game against Troy where they allow 30-something points. They have to play like they did against BYU. Suffocating, stiff, unrelenting. Louisiana, same thing. Stiff, unrelenting defense. Offense needs to do just enough. I think this will be I think this will be a very fun game. Very fun game. I don't think I'll be able to see it, unfortunately, because there's other games that look way more interesting, that are going to have way more impact. But Coastal Carolina, if they win this game, they should be in the top 12. I don't know where the committee is going to rank them on Tuesday night, but they should be in the top 12 of the rankings irregardless. And they should be, you know, on their way to a New Year's Six Bowl. There's no way that teams like Miami and stuff like that should be in consideration for the year six bowls anymore. But yeah, there you go. There it is. 3 p.m. around that time is the um, Mountain West Championship. Boise State's back in the Mountain West Championship. Surprise, surprise. There's also talks of Boise potentially going somewhere. I don't know where they're going to go. They could, you know, hop on the independent train. They could say, hey, BYU, come on down with us. We'll see what we can say to the Big 12. and We can join up with them, you know. But uh, Boise's looking like a good team. But you know who's looking better? San Jose State. Undefeated, six win, San Jose State. Crazy stuff. They beat Nevada. They beat the brakes off of them in the second half last week and you know Boise's only losses to BYU so you know I mean it's just like uh 
yeah, this is going to be a good game as well. I don't think, again, I don't think I'll be able to watch all of this, you know, I'll probably watch a little bit, you know, either early or late, depending on what the world happens in the next game that we talk about here. And that is the ACC Championship, stuck in the middle of the day to not compete with the SEC Championship game. Honestly, Clemson's playoff lives are on the line. Don't believe the media here. Clemson is in danger. Two lost teams should not be considered. They cannot be considered. And they will not be considered, in my eyes, for a college football playoff spot unless, you know, crazy stuff happens. And we're talking a really crazy season, not just what 2020 has brought us, you know, the weirdest season since 2007. I'm talking weird as in 2007 weird, where we had a two-loss team at the championship game because there were no other worthy one-loss teams. Or there, there weren't any one-loss teams at all, really. So, Clemson loses this game with Trevor Lawrence back in the lineup. No. No playoff spot for you. You don't get it. Notre Dame, if they win this game, that is solidifying their playoff fate. I think Notre Dame could be in regardless of what they do. Clemson has to win this game. They have to win. There's no way... There's no way the committee should be like, hey, Clemson should, you know, they deserve a playoff spot. They've lost to the same team twice. You know, if they, if they lose to Notre Dame, they would lose to the same team twice. I don't I don't think we want to see Clemson Notre Dame three. Not this year. Not not at any time. And if Notre Dame wins this game, it's going to be pretty hilarious, you know, for Notre Dame to be like, hey, we won a conference championship. In our only year in the conference. Going to be hilarious. Ian Book and company have what it takes to win this game. They have what it takes. They have a very strong defense. They have Kyron Williams in the backfield. They have, you know, Ian Book on the center playing great football. But, you know, Trevor Lawrence, Travis Etienne, and whatever Dabble is talking about on the sidelines is, is a... Monster, they have been a monstrous force the last three or four years. You know, a monstrous force for the last five years, really. Clemson has, and to beat Clemson again, they have to do the same things they did before in the first game back in November. They have to do the same things before, they really do. Next up on the docket is the American Championship game. And that is one of two before we cap off the night and stuff like that. So, undefeated Cincinnati has a chance, a smaller chance than before to get to the college football playoff. But it has risen thanks to Florida's loss. Honestly, Cincinnati might just end up getting shafted and going to a New Year's Six Bowl, probably the Peach Bowl. Um, but they need to dominate Tulsa. They really do. They need to beat them up. Desmond Ritter and company should take care of business if, you know, Tulsa can't just get things going on offense. But uh, Tulsa, they are a tough bunch. They've, they've, they've come back in a lot of games. I've seen them come back in some games, and they are just a fun team to watch when they come back. They've gone through quarterbacks and stuff like that all season long and they've gone through a lot of canceled games this is going to be fun for these two teams it's going to be a fun game and I'm glad these two got the prime time slot opposite the SEC championship what better way to end the night than the championship of the SEC in prime time um, it's not going to be pretty, though. I don't think it's going to be pretty. Alabama has locked up a playoff spot. They are in. It doesn't matter what Florida does. And I don't think Kyle Trask and, and Florida's defense have enough in the tank to stop Najee Harris and Devontae Smith. I don't think they have enough in the tank. You know, that defense looked horrid. They looked bad all season. And they finally got exposed for that t distasteful defense completely against LSU. They got they got it completely exposed. And now Texas AM is in prime position to get into the playoff, you know, with 
Florida losing. And it should be a and and Cincinnati as the last two teams that are in contention. These are the last two teams that, that, that should be in contention. There's no way that Iowa State and any other two lost team should be even be considered right now. But, but A&M has to beat Tennessee as well, you know. And I don't know about, you know, Georgia, Georgia's, they, they, they're playing somebody. I don't care who they're playing. They might be playing Vanderbilt or something like that. Yeah, I think they're supposed to play Vanderbilt. But um, there's really a uh, – it really doesn't matter for Georgia. They have two losses already. One of them was a blowout to Florida. And so their playoff hopes were dashed on that day against the Gators. But the Gators, if they want to beat Alabama – they got to have Kyle Trask, you know, in his highest been moments, man. He's got 40-something touchdowns on the season. And, I mean, it's looking like he's going to win the highest. Been, I think he's going to – I think he should win the highest been irregardless because he is, he's just played the best all season. And, I mean, I've seen, you know, maybe about half a game for Alabama. That's how boring they are when they get like this, unbeatable. Just absolutely unbeatable, unstoppable. That's what this team has been, the Crimson Tide have been. Nick Saban, you know, once again, continues to just coach at an elite level. He continues to be an elite college coach, right? You know, but Alabama... They're in irregardless, I think. And I think they'll pummel Florida. I think they'll pummel Florida. That defense is scary. That defense is scary, man. And the offense is no slouch either. They can score at will. They can score all up and down the field on you. So I think I'll be able to turn that game off and watch, you know, another another college basketball game during that time and stuff like that. So with that being said, you know, there's also the plans for the Big 12 championship. Again, there's contingencies available. You know, my Longhorns could play the Big 12 championship if either Iowa State or Oklahoma decide to, you know, let COVID rampage them or something like that. Big 10, their plans are pretty much set in stone, I think. Uh, Pac-12, again, their the Pac-12 is insane. I don't know what in the world's going on there. Uh, you know, SEC said, hey, we'll just crown, you know, Florida and Alabama champions or whatever, something like that. Co-champs, I think they'll just carry out Alabama as champs, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but, yeah, we have a interesting week. Interesting week ahead. If Clemson and Ohio State lose, that opens up the door for Texas A&M and Cincinnati to get it. I think that that's the way it should be. But if the committee decides, hey, we're going to put Iowa State ahead of Cincinnati again, you know, that's that's pretty fucking stupid. That, that's, not, that's not how this works, but whatever. Uh, but Ohio State and Clemson have to lose in order for Texas A&M and Cincinnati to get into the playoffs. Notre Dame, I don't think they're. I don't think they're going to be, you know, knocked out unless they get blown out by Clemson. They're not. Their their spot is locked up. Alabama, same thing. Their spot is one hundred percent in. They are in. It doesn't matter what the SEC championship is. It really doesn't at all. Florida squandered their hopes very very late. So there's no way. They're getting in. There's no way Georgia's getting in because they lost to the only two teams they played. And I mean, it's just like, wow, committee, you guys are messing up here. Um, and hopefully, Coastal Carolina and Indiana should be in the top ten on Tuesday. If not, I'm gonna I'm gonna raise some hell. I'm gonna raise some hell. Let me tell you that. But that is going to do it, everybody. That is going to do it for this week. For college football, I will see you Saturday night to recap all the conference championships. And like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Click the notification bell, and I'll see you later with 
college basketball videos.